Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. This is Critical Think from Down Under. Welcome to episode two of I Don't Understand Optics, Therefore the Earth is Flat. Now, I had to produce this episode because I was a bit of a nong. A couple of viewers pointed out that the geometry of the camera needs to be taken into account as well. So I've got to do this. I was a complete mug for leaving this out in the first place. And it's such bad, bad news for exploring the plane. So in my video yesterday, we talked about how exploring the plane found it very peculiar that when he took a picture of a rectangle, he got a rectangle. He was expecting something else. And I do understand the reasoning, but same as yesterday, this is based on a misunderstanding of optics. So apart from all the things I mentioned yesterday, which is rectilinear lenses and uh, field of view and uh, being able to measure off a photo, we've got one more thing. A pinhole camera can show a rectangle as a rectangle. And I'll show you how that can work. Now I've got here a 3D model of uh, how a pinhole camera works. Now a normal camera can be modelled like this and I often do when I use a normal camera to work out what the distance is to something or work out what something's angular size is. So this is the model that I use. Now you have a rectangular object there and uh, the light rays from this corner end up on the opposite corner over on the bottom left of the image plane on the camera. So there's where the pinhole is or the lens right there where all the lines cross. It's the only way that the light can get into the camera is via that aperture there. So here's our rectangle and uh, we can see all the sides are the same green in the middle red on the two sides now when we pass this through the pinhole guess what it's a rectangle yes so pretty much all cameras have um, a flat image plane i don't know that there are many that would have a spherical one that would mimic the eye but anyway your average camera has a flat image plane. And so it will work like this. So we know that lenses will distort a little bit and that's why they are careful to make them rectilinear. But without, even without a lens, even without a lens, a rectangle will be imaged in the camera as a rectangle. So cameras work just fine. Reiterating and adding because... Cameras have a flat image plane and rectilinear lenses make straight lines appear straight. No distortion. And perspective distortion is definitely not a factor when you've got small field of view, which we use in landscape photography when we're taking a photo to work out, is the earth flat or round? Then we only generally use a very small field of view. And as I showed in my last video, small field of view is not distorted. And in my last video, I've shown that measurements taken from a photograph are easily verified as matching demonstrable reality. And flirts are the only ones who get upset when a camera image is a faithful representation of reality. Everybody else just says, yep, that looks real to me. <laughs> Oh, 